Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I hope you're having a good day. Um, we have been solving math equations and the previous day we started looking at math equations where we multiply by a number and then add or subtract a number to get another number. Today we're going to look at something similar. We're going to look at math equations, two-step ones, where you divide your variable by some number, then add or subtract another number to get an answer. And we're going to start looking at this by uh, doing a word problem. This word problem has the band Helix in it. A very famous Canadian one-hit wonder. You might know the song. It goes like this. Give me an R, R, O, O, C, C, K, K. What you got? Rock. And what you going to do? Rock you. Classic Canadian one-hit wonder by the band Helix. Now in this band, it's a, in this, pardon me, in this problem, it says the cost of a concert ticket for the band Helix for a student is $6 more than one quarter of the cost of an adult ticket. Write and solve an equation to determine the cost of an adult ticket if the cost of a student ticket is $15. So much information in this problem. So much wordiness. So what you've got to do is you've got to narrow it down and have a process. The first thing you want to do is determine your unknown. So if you look at the end of the problem in the question, that'll be your unknown. It says, write and solve an equation to determine the cost of an adult ticket. That's our unknown. Let X equal the adult ticket. So that means anywhere in the problem where you see adult ticket, that's going to be an X. So right here, that's an X, and right here, that's an X. Now, the trickiest part is go back to the problem, and you might have to read it over a few times, and start to translate the English words and the numbers into symbols and numbers. So it says, the cost of a concert ticket for the band Helix for a student. Well, if you look closely, we know the student ticket cost. It's $15. So for a student, I'm going to write $15 there. And I'm going to write that in the beginning of my equation. The cost of a concert ticket for the band Helix for a student is. We've talked before how often mathematically is represents equals. $6 more than. More than we've talked about means plus. $6 more than one quarter. One quarter, another way of thinking one quarter is to divide by four. So the cost for a student ticket, $15, is equals $6 more than the cost of an adult. One quarter the cost of an adult ticket. One quarter of X. And another way of saying one quarter of X is x divided by 4. But it's not just x divided by 4, it's $6 more than that. And there's our math equation that looks like this, except we would probably write it with the variable on the other side of the equal sign. x over 4 plus 6 equals 15. That's the kind of equation we're going to solve today. Now, how do we solve it? We do the same thing as yesterday. We do the reverse of bed mass. So we're going to do minus 6, minus 6. We're going to get x divided by 4. This turns into 0 equals 9. Now we have a division equation. We're going to solve it by multiplying. We want to show the value of 1x. So we will multiply by 4 because 4 divided by 4 will give us 1x. And multiply the other side by 4. 9 times 4 is 36. Or just x equals 36. We said x was the cost of an adult ticket. So that's what an adult is going to pay to go see Helix these days. Well, I just might download the... Uh, I might download the song for a lot cheaper and call it a day. An adult ticket 
cost $36. That's how much you're paying to go see Helix, who are really a one-hit wonder, in my opinion. My apologies if there's many Helix fans out there. Um, let's look at some more of these kinds of equations. So we'll start off with one very similar to the one we just solved. Um, some number x divided by 2 minus 2 equals 5. Well, to solve this, we're going to do the reverse of bed mass. Um, so we have a minus 2 here. We're going to add 2 to both sides. x divided by 2. This turns into 0 equals 7. Now for the divide by 2, multiply by 2. And the reason we do that is 2 divided by 2 is 1x. Multiply the other side by 2. 14, or x is 14. So it's a combination of the two kinds of equations we've already looked at, but it's just combining them together. And then the check is the same idea as well. It's just a little bit longer because there's an extra step. So x divided by 2 minus 2 equals 5. X was 14, we said, so 14 divide by 2 minus 2 equals 5. We have to follow bed mass, which means divide first. So 14 divided by 2 is 7 minus 2 equals 5. 5 equals 5, which means our equation checks out. Both sides of the equal sign are the same. Let's do another one. Negative x divide by 12 minus 6 equals 4. Well, we're going to start off doing the reverse of order of operations. So we're going to start with our add subtract. Beside the variable, I see a minus 6. Going to plus 6 to both sides. And I'm going to be left with negative x over 12. 0 equals 10. I have a divide by 12 now. I want to show what 1x is, so I'm going to multiply by 12. And I will multiply by 12. Maybe I'll move this over. 10 times 12. And 12 divided by 12 gives me negative x equals 120. But remember, this is like negative 1x or negative 1 multiplied by x. Sorry, just having a little trouble. So negative 1x equals 120. Um, that's just like multiply by negative 1. So you show the value of positive 1 by dividing by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1x. And 120 divided by negative 1 is negative 120. Or x is equal to negative 120. The check. Start off with the original equation. Negative x over 12 minus 6 equals 4. Substitute in negative 120. So you have negative and negative 120 over 12 minus 6 equals 4. This negative negative is like a positive. So positive 120 divided by 12 minus 6 equals 4. 120 divided by 12 is 10 minus 6 equals 4. And that is true for equals 4. We are done. It looks like a lot, right? But it's building on tons of things we've already learned and should already know. So, you know, a year ago, you would have looked at this and said impossible. But now hopefully you'll look at it and go, you know what, it's a little bit of math I need to work on, but it's not definitely not impossible. Let's look at two more that are a little bit different. Both of these ones have the variable on the other side of the equal sign. So number three, 
we have a negative four equals three plus k over seven. We want to show the value of one k. Well, we're going to do the reverse of order of operations, the reverse of bed mass. We have a divide and a plus three. We're going to make that plus three turn into zero by minus three and minus three. Negative four and negative three is negative seven. Three minus three goes away, equal sign, plus k over seven. Or I can just erase that plus sign because I already know that k over seven is positive. Now, I wanna show the value of one k, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by seven with parentheses, with parentheses. Negative seven times seven is negative 49 equals seven divided by seven is one K or negative 49 equals K. And then the check. The original equation, negative four equals three plus K over seven. Negative four equals three plus negative 49 over seven. Negative four equals three. I have to do the dividing first plus negative 49 divided by seven is negative seven. And that is true. Three and negative seven is negative four. So both sides of the equation are the same. You guys can do this. It's just combining everything you've done and you've got to make sure you review your integer rules as well. And remember, there's a page on Shobi to do that. Okay, last question, a little bit of a different one. Number four, five equals two minus N divided by four. Well, we're going to start with reverse bed mass. I see that I have an N divided by four. And then I actually have a plus two here, right? This is a plus two. We'll worry about this minus sign later. But I want to make the plus two go away by minusing two. And I'll minus two on the other side. Five minus two is three equals, this turns into zero. This negative sign can't disappear. Negative n over four. But here's the thing, my friends. This negative sign can either apply to the numerator of the fraction or the bottom. It's actually easier to apply it to the bottom of the fraction. Make this n over negative 4 because then all you have to do is multiply both sides by negative 4 and you'll be done. If you apply the negative sign to the top, to the n, then you're at the end after you multiply by 4 you're going to have to divide by negative 1 again. So way better if you're left in this situation to put the negative sign with the four. And now to solve it, you're gonna multiply both sides by negative four because negative four divided by negative four gives positive one N, which is exactly what you want. You have to multiply the other side by negative four and you get negative 12 or negative 12 equals N. The check. Five equals two minus n over four. Five equals two minus negative 12 over four. Five equals two minus, we have to do the divide first. Well, negative 12 divided by four is negative three. Oh, look, we have a minus a negative. So that's like five equals two plus three. And that is true. Five equals five. So our answer of negative 12 was correct. There are four examples of how you solve an equation that has division and add or subtract in it. Um, I hope that helps. Um, use this video to help you with today's assignment. That's all for now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.